Welcome to study life. Our chapter is heredity and variation and today we are going to see a very important person's discovery which is Gregor John and Mendel's experiments. Now this Mendel, Gregor John and Mendel, he did experimentation with this. This is called as garden pea. So he selected this plant garden pea for a variety of reasons. The reasons behind him selecting this garden pea, we would be seeing that now. This garden pea is called as Prism sativum. The name of this garden pea in scientific language is called as Prism sativum. Let us look at the reasons behind him selecting garden pea. Now we have to underline this separately. It is because this is called as its scientific name. The reasons behind he selected this garden pea is Or selecting garden pea is here we are seeing the reasons now first the this garden pea is an annual plant which means it grows throughout the year it is an annual plant and it has a short life cycle short life cycle and its life cycle is only of three to four months three to four months which means we can have two to three crops in a year. Two to three crops can be produced in a year. Now this garden pea, because it being an annual plant, it has a short life cycle and we can get three to four cycles or crops in a year. Now second most important one is the flowers are bisexual. Bisexual which means both male and female part are present in the same flower and they are naturally self-pollinating. They are naturally self-pollinating. Because they are bisexual, they are naturally self-pollinating. Now the flowers are so large enough, flowers are large enough for cross-pollination which means we can add in some other genes also or cross pollination and they can be easily emasculated and easy emasculation emasculation which means removal of the stamens which are the male part from the flower and when those male part are removed from the flower they can be easily cross pollinated now the offsprings which are produced are also fertile offsprings produced by cross pollination are fertile and the most important is that this plant is a small herbaceous plant it is a small herbaceous plant and it can be grown in large numbers it can be grown in large numbers which means we can have large number of plants growing at the same time because it is growing to a very small height small herbaceous plant and last point is this that this garden pea it has seven pairs of contrasting characters seven pairs of contrasting characters now what are these seven pairs of contrasting characters that we would be seeing seven pairs of contrasting characters now here we will see we have the trait which is the character then here we have the dominant character which is the one which gets expressed in the first generation and here we have the recessive character which gets hidden in the first generation. Now when we say traits, the first trait is the height. Now this height it can be tall or it can be dwarf. It can be tall or it can be dwarf. When we say second character, it is the color of the flower. The color of the flower can be uh, violet or it can be white. 
it can also be read in case of dominant character third is the position of the flower the position of the flower is when it is present on both the sides it is called as axial and axial is the dominant character whereas terminal flower is the recessive character the fourth one which we are seeing is seed shape and seed color the seed shape the dominant one is round and wrinkled one is the recessive character the next is the seed color the seed color can be it can be the seed color dominant one is yellow and the recessive one is green the sixth character is the pod shape which is the pod which we purchase it from the market the pod shape which can be inflated which is fully uh, flown or it can be constricted the recessive one is constricted and the last character is the pod color the pod color is opposite of the seed color which is yellow and green this can be green which is dominant and here it is yellow which is recessive so these characters which we have seen are nothing but these are the phenotypic characters and now let us see at the genotypic characters when we see the genotypic characters what are they when we say tall or dwarf this is the phenotypic character now for the genotypic character we write both the alleles we see the first letter which is tall and so the genotypic character over here will be capital t capital t the first letter is taken two times and because alleles are in pair so two times we will have capital and when we say dwarf this capital t capital t will become here small t small t similarly for color of the flowers the violet and white is the phenotypic character which is external character this genotypic character is going to be capital v capital v seeing the first letter violet and over here it will be small v small v when we take red it will be capital r capital r and when we say white it will be small r small r the position of the flower is going to be here it is written axial so the first letter stands for capital a capital a and here we'll have small a small a similarly for seed shape here we have round so capital first letter is capital r so we'll have capital r capital r and here we'll have small r small r the seed color over here is yellow which starts with capital y so here the genotype will be capital y capital y in dominant and for recessive it will be small y small y for pod shape here it will be capital I capital I because it is starting with I and here it will be small I small I and pod color which is over here last character because it is green so it will be capital G capital G because the first letter is G and here it will be small g small g. So these are the seven pairs of contrasting characters which were focused by Mendel. So seven pairs of contrasting characters which the pea plant has these are the following and they were used in these Mendel's experiments. So this was all the reasons behind selecting of garden pea and why it was used for this heredity and variation experiments. Please solve the questions which would be upcoming right now and please stay tuned for study life. Thank you. Thank you.